Animated Builder widget in Flutter is a powerful utility that allows you to create complex animations by rebuilding only the necessary parts of your widget tree. It works by listening to an animation and rebuilding the specified part of the widget tree whenever the animation value changes. To create a stateful widget, start a new project and call the stateful widget here. Use single ticker provider state mix in. We have already learned about this. Let's create an animation controller variable and an animation variable. Variables can be initialized in the init state. The controller duration is 1 second, and the vsync is this. We also need an animation tween. In Flutter, tween double is a class that represents a range of values for a double property or animation. It is commonly used in animations to define the starting and ending values for a specific property that needs to be animated. The tween double a class provides a convenient way to interpolate between the start and end values based on an animation's progress. It calculates intermediate values based on the current animation value, allowing smooth transitions between the specified start and end values. Tween double is not limited to just double values. There are other variations available, such as tween int, tween color, tween size, etc., which allow you to interpolate between different types of values in your animations. Use.animate and controller.repeat. Then, dispose of the controller. Return the animated builder. Provide an animation, example animation controller, tween, etc., to the animation parameter of the animated builder. Define a builder function that gets called whenever the animation value changes. This builder function receives the current build context and the animated widget's child as parameters. Return the opacity. The opacity is animation variable dot value. The child is a container with a blue color. The widget is called here. By using Animated Builder, you can easily create custom animations and transitions for your widgets while maintaining optimal performance. It helps in separating the animation logic from the widget hierarchy, making the code more organized and maintainable. Change the duration to 2 seconds. Remember to properly dispose of the animation controller or any other resources when you no longer need them to avoid memory leaks. Thank you for watching.